What's going on guys, it's Armageddon here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys another Lava Loon deck. It's pretty much identical to the other one, you're just switching up the spells. Instead of the Zap and the Fireball, you have the Lightning and the Arrows. I like this one a bit better just because you can take down uh, bar Elite Barbarians and the Executioners way faster when you're using this. Um, what I like to do is I like to keep my Balloon in my hand I don't use it though but I'll use it I'll keep it and I'll wait until double elixir and I'll put down the lava hound then I put down the balloon when they're not expecting it because I've been using every card but that card but the usually people don't use this this one just because it's more elixir cost it's like 4.1 and the other one was like a 3.8 but this one still works out pretty well I mean you have to have your lightning at least probably level three or four but I just upgraded my balloon last week but um, I did open up my clan chest I did not record it because I wasn't thinking I was gonna get anything because well it's Clash Royale you don't expect very much but I got something pretty cool and you guys will have to wait till the end of the video to see that another thing is is if somebody has arrows when they're playing this you try to make them use those arrows by throwing down your skeleton army or your tombstone but you always have to have a tombstone down because the tombstone will draw anything to it i think the only thing that has trouble drawing to it is the pekka but that and the mini pekka i mean i've only had it come down the left lane when it's like this and they've only gone a couple of times but usually they just go right through it but another thing is is you don't want to group everything directly together towards in fireball range like i have my mega minion in my tombstone far enough to where they will not get fireballed but if he were to use like arrows or something he could probably take down a bunch of this stuff and the thing is this is not like this is not usually a three crown deck it's usually a one crown and then defend see like look at this look what it does he barely does he does i think it like two thousand that's what he gets it to but usually with this push you usually take him out like right away like he has no idea i have the balloon right now and he has no clue what's going on or anything like I'll start putting down everything and then I'll put down the balloon and he won't know what to do um, I know a lot of people use freeze but freeze doesn't really help you and I know a lot of people will use the spawner deck where it's like the musketeer the uh, hog rider and all that stuff which that doesn't help at all me arrowing that that just made me win <laughs> because he was trying to push down as much stuff as he can and this is what this is good for and boom look more of them down the only bad thing really 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 bad thing about this deck is if you push your lava hound on one side and they happen to use the elite barbarians you don't have enough for that lightning spell and the only thing you have defending is the minion the mega minion or the skeleton army or the tombstone but if they were to have like um a zap arrow fireball log they'd be able to take down everything and it would just be a waste but i love if i have the tombstone i love having that with lava hound i love having one of those two as my starting cards and when i first saw this guy's deck i thought he was using a spawner deck and i was about to freaking cry because i hate them see this is this is where it does it like it'll sometimes surpass them i guess but it doesn't happen very often but if you can use your lightning against their like say they have a spawner deck you can definitely use it against their buildings i mean you could probably take down three-fourths of the health of each of them and i usually like to hit the tower and but see how they're spawning them see this is where this guy caught me off guard i didn't have anything in my deck to defend and then he threw me for a loop again with, yeah but what I was talking about was you can use your lightning to take down elite barbarians, uh, buildings, the last hit of tower. Like I think it's like my next attack where you'll see me like I'm already wrecking this guy. He has no idea what's going on. This is really good for this too. Lightning is really good for those balloons that like to get past. Because all I got to do is lightning that and a mega minion and then it's gone. 
But the only bad thing about doing that is, is you run really, really low on elixir. But, I mean, I freaking hate people at the minion, or the minion board. There was one guy I was playing on my friend's account, and he had the freaking minion horde, and then he cloned it, and I wasn't ready, and he wrecked me. I already put my lava hound down, but what I like to do is I like to push on the right side and let them try to do as much as they can, because if they don't defend against this, then they're going to lose, because your towers can't take as much as they're pushing out. I think this is zap or arrows or something stupid. Whatever you do, do not place minions directly on top of a balloon because it, they will blow up. And it's not good for you. This is the perfect arrow placement ever. It got everything. I think I 3 crown this guy, but I don't get cocky. I don't say good game, good game, good game, good game. I mean... On my friend's account, there's like, I'm facing like tens in jungle arena, and they'll put good game, good game, all that stuff, and start being cocky. But they're still in jungle arena, and they're level 10. So, I guess whatever helps them sleep at night. So, look how much damage lightning does. It just wrecks everything. You could try pushing down anything, and they stop anything. The only thing I think they have trouble with is minion hordes and skeleton armies. I mean,. You shouldn't be using them on that, but whatever you do, go ahead. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, you could probably switch out the arrows for a zap if you wanted to, or switch out some other stuff. I just copied this off of one of the top decks, and I've been using it. Now, these are all live battles, and I win all three, I guess. I haven't really, I don't really play Clash Royale as much as I used to. I just play it as with my friends, and we do a little have a little fun on it. I, mean, I do not like this starting hand at all. I don't know. It's just the minion and all that stuff. I just hate it. I like having my dream, or my lava hound or a tombstone. But my tombstone was there, but my lava hound wasn't there. I think I use like yeah. This guy makes me mad because he's like trying to push as fast as he can and he's trying to get the win as fast as possible. Well, I just upgraded my arrow, so that was a good investment. He could have done way more damage to my side. But so far so good. This deck is pretty easy. Look how fast he freaking cycled to his god. He cycled that thing so fast. Don't place your skeleton on me like that. It makes you look retarded. No offense. But it just makes you look stupid. Like when I placed it like that, I was, I was already done. But I do come back and I do some major damage to this guy. But he doesn't know I have the balloon. That's one of the things you have on a, on them is when usually you see a lava hound, you either see an infernal dragon or a balloon. And I'd rather see an infernal dragon because you can at least counter that by throwing down spear goblins, goblins, minion hordes, anything. But the balloon, you gotta throw down the defensive structure. But so far, this battle's going better than I thought it would. You know, space in the level 11, what was I supposed to expect? This is awesome. Like, when I'm. When I throw down that lightning, he, he doesn't have anything to defend. He throws down. See how early that zap was? He was way too fast. And he starts throwing down little, little tiny cards. I think he wastes his fireball on my skeleton army but now it's double elixir and I have the upper hand because he's just going through all of his spells and now see he just goes back to that card way too fast I don't know what to do I think he gets this tower yeah he does and then he tries to defend as best as he can but once see look I have the balloon he has no idea I had it and now he doesn't know what to do I just get all three of these dude Just I'm just wrecking on him he freezes me, he puts down a cannon, he tries to stop what I'm pushing, but he can't stop that. And then I'm just placing down, I'm trying to cycle through my cards as fast as possible, trying to get back to the balloon, but I don't think I get, I think I get back to the balloon at the very end, but I'm just trying to defend and push at the same exact time, and it's way harder than it looks. Watch my lightning spell, this, it does 
I don't think I pushed it down actually. No, I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Look at the, the lightning spell is so funny. It, it's like zapping all over the place. I think it only hit two targets and then it was done. I, I really actually thought I was going to lose this. Like, 32 minutes. Yeah. I haven't pushed to my highest yet. My highest is like 3,600 something. But I'm not getting anything out of this, I don't think. I think I get a clone. Yeah. I don't like the clone. I thought it would be better when they first released it, but obviously it wasn't. I'm trying to get my battle ramp up because I want to try it, but I don't really want to try it. I mean, it's an okay card. I've used it in the battles and I got it on my like third try. But I'm going to show you guys the screenshot of me getting them. It should be coming up in like half a second or something. Here we go. See, that's me. That's the chest I got on. That was the clan chest. And if that doesn't help you, I got that one right there. Yep, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.